Yes guys and welcome back to part 6 and our concluding part of our little winter campaign over in Chikra. We've done quite well so far but the last time, two times we've been down with blanked. But this time as you can see the sun is out and the temperature is right up guys. It's looking absolutely wicked for a bike. So yes guys I'm going to get these rods out, get this bivvy set up and I'll have a chat with you soon. Welcome back guys. I think I'm getting plagued by the bream already. Anyway guys, rods are out, all three are out, are on the spots and the, as you can see the old bivvy's up. Let me just turn this camera around. Yeah, I think I'm getting uh, plagued by a bream already. Um, them two, them right hand rods, middle and right hand rod have gone out to the spots over there as we said before, but that left one, um, obviously them two right ones are on a um, snowman rig, sorry, I had to think then. Uh, yeah, both out on the snowman rig, uh, just to try and eliminate the bream. But that left down rig, I've uh, put out on a IB pop-up soaked in the isotonic gear. I thought I'd give that a little go. But, um, seem to be... Let's see if I can get a little clip of it. Anyway, it seems to be getting, getting played by the bream or something, I don't know. It keeps going off, but I've not seen the bobbin move yet because I haven't caught it. But yes guys, fingers crossed um, we're going to end this little session on a, on a high. As I say, the weather is absolutely stunning. Um, Night time, it's up to like 7, 8, 9 degrees, which is good. Because last time we was here, it was miserable. It was absolutely freezing and we didn't even have any, have any bream. But what I've worked out from this place, where there's bream, there's carp. So we will see if we're going to get some bream. If we get a bream... Pretty much nine times out of ten the carp are going to come along. But we've got two nights guys. Uh, we actually got in the long chuck. Uh, so we've got two nights in the long chuck. But yes guys, I'm going to put some food on. Hopefully. Do you hear that? Let's see what's going on. I'm going to investigate this guys and I'll be back with you soon. Well carp, as I was right. I was getting plagued by a broom. There it is. So we're going to release this and uh, I'll get back to you. Well, carpers, that is one nil to the bream. But it's not all bad. Uh, like I said before, where there's bream, there's carp. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to... We might have to try and wade through the uh, bream, but we might get carp in the end. Um, I'm feeling really, really confident. But yes, guys, that's, that is actually the first bream that I've had out of here on the snowman. Um, so yeah... Um, We'll see, we'll see how it goes. We might have to change tactics again, try and get through, try and you know get through the bream or something. But right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Look at that, carpers! Spring is on its way, and I'm absolutely looking forward to it. Absolutely buzzing to uh, <laughs> finish my little session over here. Um, although it's been quite quite good and bad in some ways, but it is winter. But yeah, I think we've done quite well to be honest. But yes guys, spring, silver end, absolutely can't wait to get over there. Then Coken Farm, we've got so many other places uh, in mind this year. But guys, remember, let's get to 2,000 subscribers. Get down there, hit that subscribe button. Over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. Just get down there, subscribe, it's free. Hit that bell icon while you're there. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a little comment down below. Tell me if you're looking forward to uh, spring this year. Or leave a little comment. Let me know where you're fishing this year. Or, actually guys, I'd like to know where you'd like to see me fish. There's plenty of day tickets out there. Hit that bell icon and comment down below. Well guys, and welcome back. Yes, we had that bream earlier. And, um... I actually got another bream bite off that middle rod, uh, struck into it, and um, yeah, we've got this, 38 pound catfish. There we go guys, 38 pound catfish, took me for a run for my money, took me about half an hour to get in, took me left, took me right, took all my rods out, but it was nice, we've actually got a catfish out of Chigbra. Never ever caught one <laughs> out of here anyway. There we go guys, I'm gonna get this baby back and uh, I'll see you in a bit.
Good morning carpers and well this session we've only done 24 hours and uh, we're doing all right as you can see if you can see that look we've got one in the sling uh, we literally had that just before light so uh, we thought we'd put it in the sling for an hour so we can get it out and uh, give it a little photo little video and show you uh, only a little common well it's not so little but we'll get it out and we'll show you see you in a bit Yes, carpers. Well, it's certainly had a blank this session, is it? What we've had a bream. Don't don't really count, but it was a big bream. <laughs> we've had a 38 pound cat, and now we've got this 21 and a half pound common. <sighs> Look at that, guys. It is like a block of ice. It's absolutely freezing, but. The fish are playing ball. Let's hope for another good 24 hours like we've just had. Hi up guys. Just thought I'd take the time. I want to know your little little views. Uh, leave a comment down below. But is your bivy a tidy one or is it a messy one? Because I've just been sitting here looking at mine and mine's just a complete mess. Look at that look. Stuff everywhere. Leave a comment down below, guys. Are you tidy or are you messy? Good afternoon carpers, it's about midday now, uh, got 24 hours to go, uh, what a change in weather we've got, uh, it's absolutely uh, it's miserable out there, it's not raining yet but it's supposed to be raining today, um, got the wind hacking in, um, it's really miserable out there but fingers crossed we're going to do okay for our next 24 hours that we've got on here, uh, I went and spoke to another couple of people that are fishing on here and they haven't caught anything. Um, by all accounts I think two fish come out last weekend as well anyway guys um, yeah just had a rechuck um, literally same tactics as I've been using um, just talk about the rig literally just a box, box standard um, blowback rig really to be fair size 5 kerf shank hook um, it's got the, the Ridge Monkey camo hook link uh, coated that is with a little anti-tangle sleeve and they have just been put on with a, uh, oh, on itchy eye, sorry. Yeah, they've literally just been put on, tied on with a bit of bait floss with a uh, little mini ring swivel. Um, yeah, a little snowman style, as you can see. Cut off on the ends just so they close up really nice. And yeah, just put a little bag of um, match, matching uh, cell boilie in a, in a bag and then just putting it in a hopper with a few other boilies scattered about. As you can see, not a lot of bait. Um, don't really like putting a lot of bait out, just change arms. Yeah, don't really like putting a little bit, of, uh, don't really like putting a lot of bait out to be honest. Um, little bags and a little bit in the hopper seems to be doing me well on here. But yes guys, don't forget, leave a little comment below. Uh, I've asked you a couple of little questions um, previously in my last little clips. Yeah, leave a little comment below, like this uh, video, give it a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button guys let's, let's get up to 2,000 uh, subscribers we're gonna do that that little giveaway uh, got another little prize coming for uh, the giveaway but not going to mention it yet until we get near that uh, 2,000 mark 
<sighs> what a day. So I had to get that in. My little girl wants me to get it in, so I just thought I'd get that in. So there you go, Maddie. That's for you. But yes, guys, uh, I'm going to sit back, uh, watch the water, and uh, wait for the bream. Fingers crossed, no bream. Anyway, see you later. Well, Carpers, bit of an evening update. <laughs> These two, look, won't leave me alone now. Dropped a little bit of boily and uh, they keep coming back for more. They just won't leave me alone, look, two little lovebirds. Anyway, guys, bit of an evening update. Uh, just uh, redone one of the rods because it was, um, I thought I had a bream when it stuck on it. It looked like the line was going at a different angle and the bobbin kept going up and down so I just thought I'd uh, have a little rechuck on that ready for the evening because as you all know guys um, it seems to do quite well in the evening um, if I'm going to have any bites it's going to be evening time so well what time did we have that catfish last night I think that was about half seven I got the run yeah it was about half seven quarter past seven half seven so it took me a, it took me a while to get in as I was playing it gingerly Yes, guys, fingers crossed for tonight. If not, I'm happy with what I've caught, to be honest. It's, it's not a blank. But yes, guys, uh, the weather's held out. It did rain for a few hours, but I uh, sort of stayed in my bivy and got my head down. And, you know, because uh, obviously I work nights. Uh, I was awake all yesterday. Um, didn't really sleep much last night because I um, kept getting up to fish and bream and whatnot. But yeah, um, yeah, enough, obviously nothing happens during the day here, so thought, thought I'd get my head down. But yes, guys, fingers crossed tonight. Hopefully, we're going to bag a fish. I'm going to stick some food on while we've got a little bit of light. And I will see you soon with a nice big fish in my hand. morning carpers yes we've got number two carp in the sling ready to be weighed literally got it like half an hour before it got light exactly the same time as yesterday uh, different rod this time and on a different bait but uh, we're gonna get this out and i'll see you in a bit oh, well good morning carpers as we said this is carp number two um literally come what half six this morning maybe but yes guys um probably saved the best till last don't we uh, this this episode episode six uh, you know the last one uh, but yeah let's get it up little, not very big this one but more than welcome a bit lively it's been in the sling for about a half hour hour <laughs> there we go guys 18 pounder and what a way to finish my little winter campaign here at Chigborough see you again guys Welcome back carpers. Well, it's not over yet. <laughs> Literally, oh, my middle rod had a screaming run, run over to it, struck into it, nothing there. Um, literally must have been a trailer or something. Um, yeah, recasted that rod back out. As soon as I sat back down, the left hand rod screamed off. And we've got this uh, little beautiful chick rod coming. There we go, guys. <laughs> A really lively, cold, chigbra, <laughs> common. But yes, guys. Hopefully, it'd be nice to bag one more. But we've had three, three carp, one catfish, and <laughs> like I keep saying, what a way to end our uh, little chigbra campaign. All right, guys. I'm going to get uh, this rod back out. Uh, two hours fishing left. I'll see you in a bit. Well, Carpers, that is a wrap. What an awesome way to finish off our little winter campaign here on Chigra. Uh, three fish caught this session and one catfish. Uh, biggest 21 pound eight and an 18 pounder and a uh, mid double 16, 15, 16 pound. Uh, but an achievement catching that catfish because I've never caught catfish out here. But anyway, guys, just like to say a massive thank you for tuning in and watching this little series, my winter campaign. Um, 
I mean, what what fish have we had? We've had we've had a fish every time. I think we blanked two sessions, but it was it was really cold, and we didn't really get the swim that we wanted. But we've, we've done quite well. We've done six sessions. We've caught on four of them sessions, which is quite good during the winter. Uh, biggest carp we had was that twenty-five pound dark common. It was absolutely beautiful common that was. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, but yes guys, uh, don't delete, don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video or all, any of the other videos. Uh, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos and hit that subscribe button so we can get up to 2,000 subscribers and we can do that little mini giveaway. Uh, two weeks time guys, we are on Silver End. We are joining Silver End and we're going to do a little session on there. Um, we've got uh, a little... Uh, a little special uh, vlog coming uh, me versus uh, Luke Meehan um, he's just joined Nash and we're going to do a little versus series so that should be fun guys so tune in for that and I'll see you in two weeks time at Silver End see you later guys thank you very much